Hello! Today we're going to explore the anatomy of a Creative Commons license. I plan to highlight the layers and elements for the overall makeup of a Creative Commons license. We will also look at the licenses themselves and go into depth what they mean and look at exceptions and limitations to copyright. Let's get started. First, we're going to look at each layer of the licenses. There are three layers. The base layer contains the legal speak or lawyer speak, which lawyers can read, interpret, and defend if they need to. This layer is known as the legal code. These are the terms and conditions of the license which are legally enforceable in court. I think of it as the legal bottom line of the license. The next layer contains the common deeds. These are considered to be human readable. They actually summarize the creator's intent into at-a-glance icons. To be honest, for me, this is far more easier than the lawyer speak. And the final layer is the top layer. This is for the machines to read and puts the license into the language for websites and web services to recognize and help with searches, such as a Google search. This is for users to find the types of creations they're able to use and or adapt to possibly reuse. Now on to the four elements and their icons. These are the elements combined to create the different creative licenses. Each has a recognizable icon and an abbreviation, which both are used in the creation of the licenses. The first element found in every license is attribution or by. This gives the creator his or her due that the creation is theirs, and we as the users need to keep in mind that this is the person or persons who have chosen what the license will or will not be used for. The second element is the icon for non-commercial, or NC, letting the user know they cannot use the creation for monetary gain. This symbol you see is for the euro, the European currency. Here in the United States, it would be a dollar sign, and so on for all the countries. The next element is the share alike, also known as SA. The creator is making it known the work can be adapted to be reused, but it must be licensed under the same license or a compatible license. This icon is the one that helps to grow the base of items to be able to use online. The fourth and final element is no derivatives, or ND, meaning users cannot share any adaptations of this work. Now, on to the sixth licenses. Here are the six Creative Commons licenses at a quick glance. We are going to take a look at each one specifically over the next six slides. But in an overarching thought, these licenses are global, but they are built within the copyright laws and have to be looked at specifically for each country. The first license is the attribution license, or CC BY. It allows people to use the work for any purpose, even commercially, and even in a modified form, so this one isn't as restrictive as some of the others, as long as the attribution is given to the creator. I'm going to take a moment to point out that the CC in the circle and the buy is part of every license. So watch for those as we move forward. The next license is the Attribution Share Alike License, or buy SA. This allows people to use the work for any purpose, even commercially and even in a modified form, as long as they give the attribution to the creator and once they've made their adaptations and they share with others, they need to make sure they share it under the same license or a compatible license. 
The next license is the attribution no derivatives or the by dash nd. This is saying it cannot be changed. It looks like an equal sign for the non-derivatives. It has to be the same work to be utilized, whether it's commercially, non-commercially, as long as they give the attribution to the creator. Our next license is the attribution non-commercial license, or by dash nc. This allows people to use the work for non commercial purposes only, as long as they give attribution to the creator. I want to speak a bit about the non-commercial. This particular license we're looking at now has the dollar sign in the center showing non-commercial, don't use for money, American money. But what you have to think about when selecting this license, or when you see this license, as it has to do with the intent use of the work versus the user. Example, a for-profit entity, a commercial venture, can use a creation with this particular license if their intent is for non-commercial purposes, meaning they're not going to get monetary gain. Whereas if a non-profit went to use a creation and was trying to make monetary gain from that use, then that is in breach of the license. So what you need to keep in mind with any of the licenses with non-commercial is to keep in mind the intent of the use of the creation. The last two licenses are much more restrictive than the ones we just spoke of. So let's take a look at them. We're going to start with first the Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike License by NCSA. This allows people to work with the license for a non-commercial purpose and be able to adapt it and reuse it as long as when they go to share it, they use the same license or a compatible license. This license is the most restrictive of all six. It is the Attribution Non-Commercial Non-Derivatives License by NCND, which means that the folks that will use it, it has to be unadaptive, the equal sign, it remains the same, for non-commercial purposes and attribution needs to be given to the creator to use the work. So now we've covered the six Creative Commons licenses, but they are bookended by the least restricted use in the public domain to the most restricted, which is copyright, all rights reserved. You have to ask permission to do anything and everything with something with a full copyright on it. I wanted to share this graphic with you. It's from BarbaraWaxer.com. They are downloadable. And I wanted you to see, it's a great visual for the six licenses for Creative Commons sandwiched between the least restrictive and the most restricted that we just talked about in the last slide. It's a great graphic. As I come to the end of my presentation about the six licenses from Creative Commons, I want to mention that there is also a sort of loophole in the copyright law. It's known as fair use and fair dealings. There are four things that the judicial system will consider fair use. Parodies, dealing with laughter, criticisms or reporting the news, having the work quoted in scholarly articles for academic purposes, and access for visually impaired. This supports the ADA legislation. I would recommend you take a look at the Stanford Universities. They have posted Measuring Fair Use, the four factors, and take a look at it because it speaks to the intent of your use, what is the work in creation, how much of the original work are you using, take into consideration the fair market value of what you are utilizing. There is good news for you as you continue to make creations and move work forward. 
that there is a license or possibly a loophole for you. Good luck.